ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் மை செல்ஃப் அண்ட் உமா மகேஸ்வரி அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் ஆஃப் ஃபிசிக்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் கேஎஸ்ஆர் காலேஜ் ஆஃப் ஆர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் சயின்ஸ் ஃபார் விமன் திருச்செங்கோல் டுடே ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் த இன்ட்ரடக்ஷன் ஆஃப் த ஜியோமெட்ரிக்கல் ஆப்டிக்ஸ் லெட் சி த லேர்னிங் அவுட் கம்ஸ் ஆஃப் த ஜியோமெட்ரிக்கல் ஆப்டிக்ஸ் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் ஆப்டிக்ஸ் ஆப்டிக்ஸ் இஸ் த சயின்ஸ் ஆஃப் லைட் இட்ஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் த மோஸ்ட் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஃபீல்ட் ஆஃப் ஃபிசிக்ஸ் it's also considered as a branch of physics which has the outlived in purpose this is not true since the invention of the camera and subsequently movies and tv optics has been playing a key role in the entertainment industry reflection refraction and dispersion are fundamental processes of optics Optics involves the behavior and properties of light including its with matter and the construction of instruments that used it or detected. Optics usually describes the behavior of visible ultraviolet and infrared light. Next, we are going to see about the light. It's a one of the energy and also considered as electromagnetic radiation with an certain portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. the word usually refers to the visible light which is visible to the human eye and is responsible for the sense of light visible light is usually defined as having wavelength in the range of 400 to 700 nanometers between the infrared with the longer wavelength and the ultraviolet with the shorter wavelength we understand the world around us with the help of information reaching our five sense instruments namely eyes ears nose tongue and skin the sense associated with the eyes is known as a vision light is the agent which stimulates our sense of sight the eyes convert the in- incoming light into electrical signals and convey them into the brain which after processing the signals causes images or pictures to be created in our mind we learn about the properties of atoms and their internal structure through the light emitted by them so next we are going to see the types of topics so optics is divided into the three main branches first one is physical optics so the second one is geometrical optics so that the third one is quantum opt- optics so physical optics the wave optics that mean which light is considered to be an electromagnetic wave is considered as a physical optics in the ray of op- the geometrical optics is also known as the ray optics in this light is considered to travel in a straight lines so finally quantum optics so this is also known as the photon optics in this the light is considered to have the particles in a nature so next the geometrical optics geometrical optics or ray optics that describes the propagation of light in terms of rays which travel in straight lines and whose paths are governed by the laws of reflection and refraction at the interface between different media these laws can be summarized as follows when a ray of light hits the boundary between two transparent materials it is divided into refracted and a refracted ray it deals with the formation of the images by using the optical devices such as mirrors lenses and prisms thank you